Welcome to the SEO Suite Ultimate Tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to use the extension to optimize the SEO activities of your Magento site. Let's begin. After you've installed the extension, log into the admin panel. First, to access the templates management settings, go to the catalog menu. The templates are used to optimize titles, descriptions, and keywords metadata for product, category, and blog pages. Click this button to create a new template. Then, select the template type and specify the store view if needed. Enter the template's name and select where and how to apply it. You may also specify the template rule using these available variables. Next, switch to the Products tab to select what to assign the template to. You can choose from the All Product Attribute set and Individual Product Options. When the template is ready, you can test apply it here to see the result. When done, jump here to create and manage the category templates. To make a new category template, you need to perform the same actions as when creating a product template with just a single difference. This type of template can be applied to either a category or a category tree. Also, with the extension, you can make a template for a HeadWorks blog post titles, meta descriptions, and meta keywords. Now, let's tweak the template settings. Navigate here and expand the SEO Extended Template section. Under these settings, you can specify some extra options. For example, replace the product or category page name with the appropriate SEO name. Specify the number of items for one-time processing during templates applying. Crop root category from category template variable. And crop meta title and description if they exceed the specified length. Let's move on and configure canonical URL settings. Canonical URLs help you to avoid duplicate content issue by setting the primarily link to the canonical page. From this section, you can use the category path for product URLs, add the canonical URL meta header, specify the canonical URL for products. Also, you can enable canonical tag for configurable, bundle, and grouped products. In this case, the canonical tag will tell the search engines that these pages is a copy of the original URL. Besides, from here, you can set to use the canonical tag for 404 pages. Activate this parameter in canonical URL and select the canonical tag for category layer navigation. Additionally, you can manage the following options. Use the product canonical tag for reviews pages. Set the canonical URL for CMS pages. And choose pages to ignore the canonical URL meta header for. Also, with the extension, you can specify the cross-domain canonical URL. This option may be useful if you are using localized store views. With its help, you will be able to set the universal canonical URLs for all store views. What is more, here you can add the canonical URL port. When done, you can modify this setting to indicate the relationship between component URLs in a paginated series. Then, in this section, you can modify the search engine indexation settings. Here, you can specify the robots meta header for HTTPS. Set the minimum count of filters to set no index, follow for layered navigation pages, and enable or disable the adaptive meta robots parameter. Additionally, it's possible to set no index follow robots meta header for pages without content, manage no index follow or no follow robots meta header for any other pages, and edit the robots.txt file. Finally, you can enable or disable friendly URLs for product reviews pages to improve their indexation. Next, let's configure the extended SEO settings to optimize category pages. You can enable or disable optimized URLs for product and category. Add a pager number to meta title and description. Remove the default title or prefix for product and category pages. Also, under these settings, you can enable or disable the extended meta title and description on category layered navigation pages. Besides, 
With the extension, you can also switch off the Meta Keywords tag and specify pages to ignore. After you have finished configuring the base and extended SEO settings, let's jump to HTML and XML sitemaps. With SEO Suite Ultimate, you can add an XML sitemap to provide the search engines with a detailed overview of your site structure. Go here and hit the Add Sitemap button. Fill in the name of the file and the path to it. Then select a store view and click here to generate a new sitemap. In this section, you can overview the whole list of your sitemaps. On top of that, you can modify additional sitemap settings. Go here to manage the sitemap categories and product settings. Include product tags, URLs, and additional links. Finally, you can exclude out-of-stock products and create search engine friendly XML sitemap index. Also, in this section, you can configure some extra options for your traditional HTML sitemap. HTML sitemap is pretty old, but still useful list of links that your website contains. You can modify the category settings and add meta title, description, keywords, and extra links to your sitemap. Now, let's configure the layered navigation settings. Here, you can enable SEO-friendly URLs for category layer navigation. Additionally, you can set navigation identifier, hide attribute names, add layered navigation separator, and define pager URL format for categories. When done, check the ERT Roflan tag configuration. Basically, the ERT Roflan tells the search engines to switch to a certain localized version of the store. On the very first step, you need to choose between global and website scope for ERT Roflang URLs. Then, you can enable or disable alternate the ERT Roflang tag for category, product, and CMS pages. Additionally, you can use the language code from the default locale. Choose to add country code and set X default store view. To complete the configuration, define the multi-store CMS pages relation. When done and saved, you can overview the result in this table. Next, go here to the catalog menu to configure the cross links functionality. Generally, this type of links is used to automatically connect keywords or phrases to any page or external source. Click here to add a new cross link. Enter either a single or multiple keywords and phrases here. Optionally, you can enter the link title and specify the link target. Then select store views to apply cross links to and specify the custom URL here. It can be both internal and external. Additionally, you can modify some extra options. Then switch to the Destination tab. Here you can define where to apply this crosslink. Now, let's check the additional crosslink settings. From here, you can enable or disable all crosslinks in a click. Define the maximum number of replacements for different types of pages, and select product pages blocks to place crosslinks in. On top of that, you can define the default values for the crosslink edit page and manage columns in the crosslink grid. With the SEO Suite Ultimate extension, you can create a well-optimized rich snippets, open graph, and Twitter cards to raise your store's click-through rate and make social media posts look more attractive. Expand this section to make changes. First, enable the markup tag that will incorporate this functionality to your site pages. Then, here you can enable or disable open graph. Twitter cards, and rich snippets, add the appropriate logos to socials, and fill in the name of the website and about section. Next, you can add your merchant info to rich snippets. Activate this option and fill in the required information. In addition, you can specify breadcrumb settings, CMS, and category pages info. Then, you can enable or disable various product page elements to include them into rich snippets and social media. In the last section, you can configure the event settings. The extension lets you notify Google about the details of the organized public events. Note that some types of events are implemented with a JSON markup method. Also, the extension can help efficiently deal with SEO redirects. Go to this menu. You can create multiple redirects to help search engines index your site correctly. Note that redirects become active when you delete any of the products. Here, you can view all the existing redirects.
Navigate here to manage the redirect settings. Enable or disable them. Select between 301 or 302 redirect type. Define the default redirect destination and set a period of days to keep redirects active. Now, let's check the SEO reports that help you figure out possible shortcomings in your SEO activity. You can view the reports for products, categories, and CMS and quickly edit problematic items to solve them out. If you still have questions, feel free to check the SEO Suite Ultimate User Manual or contact our support. You can find other useful extensions for Magento 1 and 2 on www.magiworks.com.